All right, welcome back, YouTubers. We were busy doing the parabola, which we have to make it an inverse. We were cut short in the previous video. Here we are going to perform a vertical test. Test number one. Right, when we perform a vertical test, this is what is going to happen. You put your ruler here, you place it and move it from left to right. Here you can see that as we move along, the graph is cut into two values, which is the one in the bottom and the one in the top. And they all map to one value of x. They all map into one values of x. So it means that in this value, in this point here, we have one value of x which maps two values of y. So what is this kind of a test? We discovered that For each value of x, there are two values of y. Therefore, this is not a function due to the condition you see it's one two many so this does not qualify to be called a function because there are two values of y that maps one value of x. Therefore, this is, does not qualify to be a function. Therefore, we cannot go to do a horizontal test. We cannot perform a horizontal test because the function, the graph has failed to be called a function. Let's see where we started. We have started by finding uh, the example. We have the linear, the linear equation. We have a linear equation which says that f at x equals to 2x plus 1. Then by finding the intercept of x axis, we let y to be 0. We find that x is half. Then we find the y intercept. We find that y is equals to 0 by letting x equals to 0. Then we find that when we draw our graph, we found that by a vertical test, we found that therefore the graph is not a function by a vertical test here it is not it, it is a function because it only touches one value of x and one value of y that is called a one to one function this is a one to one function now we just summarizing this then we find that we are using a parabola here this parabola is going to be sketched by table we use our table that side we found that if we draw our graph when we use a vertical test we found that it it is a function then the graph is a function then we go for a horizontal test therefore the horizontal test we discovered that the graph is a many to one as you can see there are many values of axis that maps only one value of y then we go to the third condition where we found that we grab the very same parabola then we change this parabola 
to make it an inverse to find that the equation is going to be y equals to plus minus a square root of x whereby x is greater or equals to zero then we tabulate it we find that x is zero and one y is zero and plus minus one then we come and perform a vertical test we find that there are too many values of y that maps to y value therefore that does not qualify to be a function therefore this is not a function the condition is a what a one to many then there is no horizontal test no not tested because it has failed from the first condition of vertical uh, uh, test now let us do a few problems that are going to give us a clear understanding of why and how do we find a function and its inverse at the same time. Now I want you to come with me here to see if to see if we can grab a function and find its inverse and see if that inverse is a function or not and on what conditions do we have to find out that. Alright, in the meantime, grade 12, you can like and subscribe to this channel and share it to others who do not have a plaque of Uncle Pythagoras. Remember, when you subscribe, you are inviting Uncle Pythagoras to come and notify you if there is a new video that has been uploaded. As you can see, there are so many videos that are still coming your way. So do not miss out by not subscribing. Now you can study this one as well at in the moment as I am preparing for the space to write another exciting practical example and problems that you may face and find in the, te in the exam and test and how to deal with them precisely. You are welcome to comment And I invite you to, to practice together with me. This year I am going to give you matrix and grade 10 and 11 a chance to work with me. in the TikTok life where we are going to I am going to present a lesson and you are going to follow it now in the meantime we can Go back and practice where we started because I will need you to apply the theory that you have just learned today. <laughs> 